um, writing the book was more so something that was, uh, a, I felt like it was a necessity. It was something that I was living in my life, you know, at the moment. And I just, I just have always been in the, in the mindset of helping people. And uh, one at a very, very high point of some things that we were experiencing in our blended family, I said, man, there needs to be some type of book on this. Like, you, it needs to be some type of book explaining what to expect, explaining what, what happens during the process and even afterwards, and even something that would kind of prepare people for marriage in general, especially as it pertains to the blended family. If you don't deal with it directly, then more than likely you're counseling your brother, or your sister, or your good friend. Women that are getting married, 32, 33, 27, most of the people they marry have children. So everything that's in the book, I'm actively living. You know, they said the hair club for men, I'm not just the time <laughs> also. There's some questions that you need to ask to make sure that the relationship is resolved, you know, how the relationship ended, the impact of going into a, a marriage with this person, like how, how, where does it stand right now? It's really a difference between a baby mama and, the, and a single parent. Those are two different people, but in the society, they keep using them interchangeably and they, and they sensationalize it. But it's two, that's two completely different attitudes of how they carry things out. Every day, every year was something different. One moment she could walk past and one moment she could smile at. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what was going what on. Was going and mostly on. being able to have that relationship with your spouse, that you guys are on the same page and trying to work together. People who can really relate and step families are because they usually have moved on. And now it's like I'm satisfied, I'm secure, I'm satisfied inside of you know, who I am and my relationship. And so it doesn't, you know, intimidate me at all. You know, as a matter of fact, I want to be as nice to you as possible because this child is going over into another household. Let's have a good relationship. I didn't, I wish I saw my father every other week and I didn't. But my father saw, I, w I lived in the inner city of Detroit and my father saw me getting scary. Um, at the time, I didn't go out. You know, I grew up in a single parent household. Um, my father started bringing me up to Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is where the University of Michigan is. And he would give me like this crisp $20 bill. It felt like 200 back then. He would give me a $20 bill and he would just say, go, go out, you know, eat, have fun or whatever, and then check in at these times, right? That probably happened, I wouldn't even say it was 20 of those times that happened, but so much transpired during those moments. Like I went on my first photo shoot with my father. I started seeing different ethnicities with my father because he lived in Ann Arbor. That's when my whole world was opened up. The quality of the time is so much more important to me than quantity. It's things that, that the parent has to impart. And you can't be the judge of how much they're, they're, they're taking in. You never know how important those moments are. That's why I fight for people that's upset with the father or the mother to still let them go visit. The only thing that you can be responsible for, and this is in anything in life, is your choices that you make. Because you're gonna get presented with bad times, good times, opportunities, fail, you know, missed opportunities. It's all about how do you choose? You know, how do you, what do you choose to do with the 24 hours? If something negative comes, how do you choose to respond to it? If somebody really does something to you that you don't like, how do you choose? Do you move on? You know, do you address it? You have, those are all choices that you have. In step families, blended families, that's what it boils down to.